कम वॉट में प्रोटेक्ट योर किडनीज इंडिया हैज अ मेजर किडनी प्रॉब्लम थाउजेंड विद अ क्रॉनिक किडनी डिजीज आर टूडे डाइंग अ स्लो पेनफुल डेथ What really breaks my heart guys is that over 200000 patients are joining a kidney issue every single year even younger people in their 30s and 40s when their kidney should be in pristine condition why is this alarming is because india today has only 5000 dialysis centers and 50000 dialysis machine just under 10% patient actually get dialysis a single dialysis session will cost anywhere between 2000 to 2500 rupees which means it's a cost of between 25 and 30000 rupees so guys wake up your real job is to protect your kidney what is very surprising when i was doing research guys is that 90% patients in india don't even know that their kidney is failing and 70% who show up to a nephrologist are said you are too late if you want to protect your kidney watch this video very Very carefully. In this video, we will discuss number one, how to measure your kidney's function. Number two, what are the signs that your kidney is in a decline? Number three, what are the major accelerators for your kidney's failure? Number four, how can you prevent kidney disease? And number five, the pathetic state of kidney transplant, not just in India but all over the world. So, guys, let's begin. Your kidney are a miraculous piece of physiology and when they go wrong it's a disaster guys your kidneys are these two tiny things that directionally probably only weigh 2% of your body weight but each time your heart beats 20 to 25% of that blood is pumped into the kidneys because these two tiny little things weighing 2% are filtering two things one everything that is bad for you and number 2 they are regulating the balance of water and more importantly the balance of electrolytes like sodium like magnesium like potassium which are very critical for metabolic functions of your body the glomerulus is the unit of the kidney that is responsible for this filtration guys blood enters and exits this glomerular unit but what happens while the blood is there is a lot of movement of water and electrolytes To estimate or measure this filtration we use something called as a glomerular filtration rate or GFR this is nothing but a functional unit of your kidney this will be key to determine how good or bad is your kidney's function just when we talk about your heart and when we talk about its functional capacity most doctors will measure something called as the ejection fraction every time your heart beats how much of the blood is it pumping and it is evaluated through something called as a cardiac output let's talk about how to measure your kidney's function if you have ever got a kidney function done at a nearby lab you will see that there is something called as a egfr mentioned right there on your blood report the first and the most common way this is measured is by using something called as creatinine or cr in any case creatinine levels are being produced by your body and you are excreting it however if your kidneys are not functioning well it excretes less creatinine and therefore this excess creatinine accumulates in your blood which is what they look for in your blood test whenever there is excess creatinine in your blood level it's an indication your kidney is not being able to excrete it your kidney is not functioning well however i do not rely on creatinine to know my kidney function or to establish my egfr but why is that number one when you use creatinine to establish your kidney function or egfr it has a tendency to really overestimate the renal function of the kidney a patient who really really lacks muscle mass or someone who's on a very low protein diet will always have artificially low creatinine levels this may indicate his kidney is functioning well because his egfr will be higher but unfortunately this is a wrong indication that his kidney is doing well instead i always use the c statin c blood test as a practical way to assess your kidney's health and its function it doesn't cost much guys 1000 to 1500 rupees is the cost for a standard c statin c blood test available at all your diagnostic labs c statin c guys is a protein which is secreted by most cells in your body at a constant rate just like creatinine c statin c 
gets filtered in your kidney. The blood levels of C-statin C are a reasonable approximation for how well your kidneys is functioning to estimate the EGFR. Why C-statin C is a much better indicator of your kidney's function than creatinine is because it doesn't change with the musculature or with your diet or with any other factors like age, race, sex, muscle mass, protein consumption, etc. If you are someone who has not got a kidney function test done yet, please go and get a C-statin C blood report done. It is very, very important. Now, I will teach you something that your doctor never teaches you, which is how to correctly read your kidney function test report. Look at the diagram guys which you see on your screen and this explains a lot. But why this diagram is incomplete is because it does not factor for age. It is just throwing up a data. And remember, as always, when it comes to your health, your age is your number one risk factor. So let's get deeper into how should you actually read a kidney function report. Together now, we will decode where your kidney is from your age standpoint. Look at this table. I have also provided a PDF of this in the description below. Do open it, take a printout and keep it with you. It will be very, very helpful. If you look at the table, the table is providing with you age-wise data in terms of where your kidney function needs to be. If I am in your place and if I want a great kidney because your kidney needs to be with you for the rest of your life, aim for a number which is between P75 and P95, which is in the 75 to 95 percentile of your age bracket. However, you can also use a rule of thumb. If you are below 50 years of age, your EGFR should be at least 90. And why is this important? Because for every decade, you will lose between 6 to 10 units after your fifth decade or after you are 50. So let's take an example. Let's say you are somebody who is a 40 year old and your EGFR is 100 because your kidney function will decline with age. By the time you are 80, this 100 will naturally go down to 60, which is what you want. This is also guys, one of the big reasons why 90 90% Indians don't know their kidney is failing. They look at a standard blood report and they look at something called as normal and they feel, oh, my kidney is great. No, guys, that is not how you read a kidney function test report. Let's now move to what are the five stages of kidney disease. Stage one kidney disease is when your GFR is above 90, but there are other signs of kidney damage. The most common of which is there is protein in your urine, which is a sign that your kidney is not functioning well. Stage two, your EGFR is between 60 and 89 combined with protein in your urine. How concerned should you be? Again, as I said, it depends with your age. If you have an EGFR of 65 and you are in 30, that's DEFCON 5 guys you will need to show a nephrologist as soon as possible. Stage three guys is where you start getting into trouble you get into something called as CKD or a chronic kidney disease. This is defined as an EGFR between 30 and 59. At this point, your doctor or your nephrologist will start restricting protein intake. You will also have to start paying attention to things that people with a higher GFR take for granted. Stage four is when your EGFR is between 15 and 29. At this point, you have severe kidney damage guys. You will have to be under a close supervision of a good reputed nephrologist. Also, you have to understand, you will have to be very mindful of any medication or any supplement that you are going to take. And of course, needless to say, you will be on a very low protein diet at this point of time. Not only that guy, you will not be able to use iodine when you go for your CT scan. Stage 5. When your EGFR falls under 15, you are going to require a dialysis, guys. This will be a massive burden on you financially and from a mental point of view because you will have to search for a dialysis center. This is also the time when your nephrologist will put you on a transplant waiting list. I'll tell you how bad it is. 4% of all death happen because of a kidney problem. But you must be thinking, Prashant, dara to diya, how do I know my kidney is in problem if I have never got a kidney function test done, ideally get a kidney function test done, else I will talk about some symptoms 
that will tell you that your kidney is in a problem. Number one, you are sleeping well but still you are fatigued or tired. Number two, nausea or vomiting, trouble concentrating or you are confused most of the time. You have higher toxins in your system, swelling or what we call as edema particularly around your hands, around your ankles or around your face. If you are suddenly going to the washroom very often, you've not changed any of your hydration. If suddenly you have cramps, especially muscle spasm, dry or itchy skin, poor appetite or a food is testing a little metallic, symptoms of kidney problem. You must show a nephrologist if you are above 40 or above 50, at least once in a year, do everything you can to protect your kidney. And trust me guys, when I talk about this, you will think, why didn't my doctor ever tell me about this? The two leading causes of chronic kidney disease are number one, hypertension or high blood pressure and number two, type 2 diabetes or diabetes as we know. Diabetes is a driver of about 30 to 50 percent of CKD and this is true not just for India but worldwide. Hypertension or high blood pressure accounts for 25 to 30 percent and when you combine both these together 70 to 80 percent why your kidney is failing is explained by hypertension and type 2 diabetes and the balance 20 30 percent are a garb of different disease like autoimmune disease or inflammatory disease and studies have also shown guys that there are patients who get conned for using herbal medicine herbal remedies that is also one of the drivers for accelerating kidney disease so guys be very careful with herbal and unregulated supplements which is why you will never see me ever recommending any one of them. Every single person watching this video has a kidney problem. As per the ICMR 2023 report, how many Indians are pre and diabetic? Guess what the number is guys? 46 crore Indians are pre and diabetic. Not just that, when it comes to youth getting diabetes, India is the number two country after China. Just think about it guys, our average age is 27, our per capita is only 3000. Now imagine the next 25 years, how many poor people are going to get diabetic and accelerate kidney disease. If you thought diabetes was bad, hypertension is even worse. Hypertension is when your blood pressure is higher than 140 over 90. Guess what that same report showed? India has over 100 crore of people which have hypertension. And both these guys, remember, contribute to 70 to 80 percent of your kidney problem. So if you are somebody who is either pre or diabetic or have high blood pressure, please guys go and get a kidney function test done now. But you must be searching for the connection between blood pressure and kidney function, right? Remember I said that your kidney weighs only 2% of your body weight but receives 20 to 25% of the cardiac output from the heart. Now imagine such a small organ, what its vascular network would be. It has to accommodate 25% of all the blood your heart is pumping. This kind of perfusion when you have a higher blood pressure is of course susceptible to very high degree of damage. Let's also see what diabetes does. Diabetes is nothing but your glucose metabolism going awry. You are insulin resistant which is why you become diabetic. In today's world where we are eating so much food, all this heavy lifting of getting rid of all the toxins is a work your kidney has to do which is why diabetes accelerates kidney disease. One very important thing for this is that you will need to learn how to measure your blood pressure regularly because it is a silent killer. When you go to a clinic or you go to a doctor, he will never measure your blood pressure. Either it is a nurse or somebody lower down a compounder who measures your blood pressure and trust me guys, they don't know how to measure blood pressure and which is why you don't even know what your real blood pressure is. I will share with you how to accurately measure your blood pressure. When you are going to measure your blood pressure, sit on a chair and sit very calmly. No phones, no talking, just silence for just five minutes. This will calm down your blood. After that, you put the cuff. You have to place your hand perpendicular to your heart and that's how you take your blood pressure. Also, don't take your blood pressure just once. Take it three times and use the average of this to accurately predict your blood pressure. Can you use an automatic blood pressure monitor? You can use it. Just make sure that every time you use the same instrument to take the blood pressure. But guys, please, please, please 
measure your blood pressure very regularly once a week if you even see a minor spike in blood pressure take action number 2 is my most favorite protocol and it is completely free guys sleep yes sleep is your medication to reduce blood pressure and better your diabetes it's very simple physiologically when you are sleeping you will notice your blood pressure will come down because you are not doing any activity your blood does not need to travel very very fast best hack sleep for 7 to 9 hours every single night but sleep gives you another benefit when you sleep you are not eating which means your fasting blood glucose will get better if you are insulin resistant you will move towards insulin sensitive which is what you want when it comes to good sleep remember four acronyms q c q t q stands for quantity 7 to 9 hours of sleep number 2 c consistency is key if you are going to only sleep for 7 to 9 hours one or two days a week your blood pressure will not come down number 3 quality quality of sleep is when you sleep and you are not waking up often at night and number 4 is timing you sleep at the same time every single day that is how you get great quality of sleep exercise is your best friend when it comes to both hypertension and diabetes and kidney function guys when you play a sport when you run when you swim when you jog when you cycle or when you lift weight you will momentarily your blood pressure will increase but this increase in blood pressure is good for you because when you finished your exercise it plays a disproportionate role in bringing your blood pressure down also when it comes to your diabetes if you are somebody who is exercising regularly you will not fall for junk food or you will not fall for For excessive sugar intake which is what you want and then comes diet number one dietary protocol is to reduce salt and number two to eat a lot more home cooked food and eat less outside food very simple outside food is very high in salt you are not in control of the quality of ingredient from a diet intervention protocol sugar is also a problem a villain when it comes to your kidney function so reduce sugar intake i also did a very interesting experiment once i wore a blood pressure monitor and i drank a can of coke my blood pressure actually went up by 3 to 4 mm that's how worse sugar is for you guys another question that i often get when i talk about increasing the protein intake through protein shake or whatever meals is does higher protein result in kidney damage and the simple answer guys is no there is no evidence that higher protein leads to kidney damage where the confusion started was when they started measuring people who already had a kidney problem and as we discussed stage 1 to stage 5 will always have protein in their urine which is an indicator that people who have kidney problem must not consume higher protein that does not mean that if you are healthy you need to reduce your protein intake you must also be thinking right prashant kidney stones what are they so guys kidney stones form when your urine contains more crystal forming substances such as calcium oxalate and uric acid then the fluid in your urine can dilute at the same time your urine lacks substances that prevent crystals from sticking together creating an ideal environment for kidney stones to form they guys are not very deadly but they are extremely painful please show a nephrologist and either through medication drinking lots of water or through some kind of a procedure your doctor will ensure that you remove them my big purpose of doing this video guys was because of the pathetic state of kidney transplant all over the world and in india remember if you are in stage 5 or end stage renal disease you will need a kidney transplant but this is where the picture is very bleak guys in india in 2022 we had over 2 lakh renal failure only 11000 transplants took place 0.05% 99.95% people did not get a transplant either they died or they will die and guys that's not all if you are one of those lucky 0.05% and you've got a organ transplant you are still on a lifetime of immunosuppressive meds which renders themselves susceptible to a lot of other medical complication and which is why i keep telling again and again and again when it comes to kidney your best bet 
is to prevent kidney damage. There is no organ like kidney. Guys, if you have liked this video, tell me which other organ do you want me to go in such a depth and help you understand how they function, how can you take care of them. Please put it in the comments below and I will make a video on that. And guys, one request that I have for all of you, please subscribe to my channel. The more subscribers I have, I will be able to make lot more videos like this and tomorrow I want to bring great guests and doctors which can help you. Do me one more favor guys, please extensively share this video on WhatsApp, in your family chats, in your friends chat. Let more and more people protect their kidneys. That's what we want.